Hello everybody, welcome back to our item system tutorial series. We're gonna go ahead and start off with Unity. And we're gonna be working on the IS quality database today. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And I stated before that in order to get this to show up in the side, especially when you're playing around with it and you want some debugging, the easiest way is just to make it public. And to be honest, most people just leave it public and they'll go ahead and just I'll basically leave it accessible over here. I don't like that. <laughs> so I always make mine private, but I still want to be able to debug it. So as I stated before, I like to use the serialized field. This goes ahead and leaves it over there for me to play around with. If I need to debug it, as you can see, it stays the same. Oh, we got an error. Ah, we're going to get the error here because I changed it, but we'll fix that in a second. But anyway, it stays over here, it's accessible. And when we don't want people to see it, we can go ahead. And I'm reiterating this stuff for the people that have not watched the other videos. For those that have, just bear with me here. So we'll go ahead, comment out the uh, serialized field. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and comment out this line as well. It's not liking that error. But anyway, when you comment out the serialized field, it does disappear just uh, show you that it does work we go ahead and uncomment which I am going to leave it uncommented for the most of this tutorial anyway it shows back up but let's go ahead and start creating some methods for it now if you really do want to leave it public that's perfectly fine you can just skip this tutorial but like I said before I like to lock mine down and let people do things with it that only I want to let them do with it and the first thing is actually to be able to add things to the list so we're already doing that. So let's go ahead and re-enable that. So I'm gonna create a method called public. It's not gonna return anything. It's gonna be called void. Well, it's not called void, it returns void. But I'm gonna call it add. And then we have to pass in what it's gonna add. And of course, it's gonna pass in an IS quality. And I'm just gonna call it item. And all we're gonna do is take the database dot add. And of course, the item we wanna add, which is being passed in item, and there's one more line here I want to add, but before I do, let's come into the IS quality database. We're going to go ahead, uncomment this. And if you're leaving it public, you don't have to worry about this, but since we are not, we are going to have to make some changes here. So we're still going to access our reference in this script of the quality database. But now we don't have access to that database anymore because I went ahead and made it private but that new field we have is there. So we're gonna say add, and then we're still gonna pass in just the regular selected item. And I've gone ahead and left them side by side, just so you can see them. So technically it is a little bit less typing. I think it's a little bit easier for people working with the database if they're writing scripts for it to kind of see what's going on. They don't have to worry about the quality database.database.add. It's just quality database.add. I like the way it looks better. And I like the fact that it keeps it private. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that line. Save it off. No errors pop up. We'll go ahead and we'll start this bad boy up. And we're just gonna go ahead and add a comment here. Let's go ahead and we'll grab something here. A circle, great. We'll hit save and it still works. Now the next line I wanna add, if you notice, if we went ahead and closed our project and came back, uh, this is not saving. So let's go ahead, even if we try to save the scene, uh, we don't actually have a scene here. So we're gonna go ahead and create a folder. And I'm going to do it outside of here. So, yeah, that's where it was. That's fine. We'll just create the folder here. I'll call it scenes. And of course, we'll go ahead and save it. We'll go into scenes. And I'm just going to call it demo. So, the scene has been saved. We're in demo. We'll go ahead, quickly look at the database one more time. We do have one in there with the common. Let's go ahead. We'll shut down Unity. And we're going to go ahead and start it back up. And we'll go ahead and look at our database again. And ah, there's nothing there. Well, why? Uh, that's because in mono behaviors as well as scriptable objects, uh, we'll reload all. You have to type in a line to specifically tell the, the editor utility to basically update the, the asset database. And it's pretty easy. You just gotta type in editor 
And we don't actually have access to the editor until we come up here. And I just like to put it at the top. I like to keep the UD stuff together. So using Unity Editor. Now we should have access to it. Editor, Utility, Dot. And what we want is Set Dirty. And what do we want to set dirty? Well, we want to set this object to be dirty. So basically, we're just saying, hey, this needs to be updated. It needs to be written to disk. Take it out of the memory, write it to disk. And, well, technically, you're not taking it out of the memory. Just take what we have in memory, write it to disk, so we have that, you know, that concrete instance of it. So we'll go ahead. We'll save that off. We're going to go back into our scene here. Let's go ahead. We'll create another column this time. Let's do uh, the check mark. And I'm just going to leave it all oh, just to be different. Commons. We'll go ahead, we'll hit save. We see that it popped up here automatically. Let's go ahead, we'll just close down Unity one more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and open it back up, maybe. There we go. And we'll load up our item system. Don't need that window. We'll go ahead, the database, and bam! It saves, woohoo! That you know how long that took me when I first started playing with editor scripts to find out about set dirty. I was just like, ah, oh, why is it not saving? And I'd go through and I'd sit down and I'd make this really nice database, maybe spend like a half hour filling it out, populating it, feeling so good that I'd switch to another project and I'd come back and it's all gone. It's like, oh, but anyway, that's how we do it. Now, when we come back and start making this into a generic script, uh, because we're going to be creating quite a few databases and I don't like to type all this out for every single database. So I'm going to go ahead and create this to generic, but we're not going to do it until we start making at least our second one. Cause I just want to keep it well, basically non-generic so we can go through and basically see what's happening. All right. So there's a few more here that I like to add. Uh, the next one will be public void insert. And what do I want to insert? Well, first I take an int which is going to the index of where I want to insert it into the list. Then an IS quality item, what I want to insert into the index. And this we can just do database dot insert index. Um, so it takes, yep, an index and then item. So as you can see, I'm just really creating wrappers for what's already given to us in the, the, the list view by default. But like I said, I, I can keep it so that certain ones I just don't wrap and they don't get access to. Now I'm also going to set the, well, use the set dirty as well here. I'll probably be moving that out into a different spot later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and leave it there. So next up, we need a way to remove stuff out of there. So public, void, remove. And the first remove I want to look at is where you remove an item, but you want to specify the actual item to remove. So I'm going to say IS quality item. And of course, database dot remove. And we'll take a look here. This is the one we want. Not that it matters. We're typing it anyway. And of course, set it to be dirty. Next will be public void, remove again. We're gonna create an overload, except this time we're gonna take an int and an index. So in case we wanna move one at a specific spot in the list, we can do it this way. So database dot remove at. And as you can see, there's a bunch of removes that we could use. Uh, to be honest, the only ones I use is remove where you remove a specific object and remove at. You could do remove all to re basically clear out the, the database. And remove range is also useful too, but those are specialized. Well, basically for my generic one that I make, I don't add those in. But anyway, I'm gonna do the remove at. And of course I need int index. Oops, we already have that, sorry. Index. And then of course, you know what comes out for that, right? Remove. Or sorry, yeah, it's set dirty. So next up, we're gonna have one that returns an int and we're gonna call it count. And it's just simply gonna go into the database and see how many 
uh, we actually have in there and just return. Actually, let's set this up as a getter. That way we don't need the parentheses behind it. So database dot count. Now for those who aren't quite sure what I'm talking about, when we actually go to call this method, we'll go ahead, we'll save this off. We'll come back over here. Let's say for some reason we wanted to get the, the count. Uh, we'd be saying quality database dot and count. And that's it. Where if we didn't use the, the method where it had getter, we'd have to use the brackets. So really very small amount of difference, but I like it better this way. And why am I getting an error here? Ah, uh, int x is equal to, it's returning a type. So it was like, hey, you know, you're, you're not storing the, what it's returning. That's okay. We're not actually gonna be doing that there, but we will be using that a little bit later on. So let's come on, we got count down. So we're just gonna move down to the next one, which of course, all of these are gonna be public. And the next one, I wanted to return uh, a particular item in the database. So basically like, get something out of the database. So we're going to call, well, first off, it's going to be returning an IS quality. And I'm just going to say get. And I want to get it by index. There's no point in getting it by object, because if you know the object, you don't need to get it. And of course, we'll return database dot element at. Well, I think to get the element at, we actually have to use the link library. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So we're going to come up here. Uh, I'm just going to go under here, do using system dot link. And I'm just going to put a note here needed for element at. So we'll come back down here and just do dot. There we go. Element at. And we're just going to pass in the index. Next up, another public. And I want one to be able to modify a, a particular object that's in the database. So instead of like pulling it out, do my modifications and pulling it back in, I just want to send in, basically what I'm looking at is just replacing what's already in there. So I'm going to have it send in an object. I'm going to have it go grab the that particular object by index and uh, basically just um, assigning the new object to it. So it's not going to return anything. It's going to be a void. Now I usually call this modify. I'm trying to think if I want replace. Replace might actually be a better name for it. We're gonna use replace this time around. And of course we need an int index and an is quality item. And we're gonna say database. And then we're gonna get the index. And we're gonna equal that to item. Now, because we actually made a change here, we're going to want to set it to be dirty. And that's really it. That's pretty much all of the ones that I generally add to my database list. Now, there's special instances. I, I've got a few sorting ones that I use, but uh, those are, uh, are are different databases. This is my basic database script that I am going to be turning into generic later on. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go back into... Unity, make sure there's no errors. Looks like we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and save this project off. We're gonna have a short one here. Hopefully I'll have time a little bit later on today. We can get a double shot in. And I wanna thank everyone for watching and let me know down below what you think of the series so far. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.